So we just landed at the Bozeman International Airport in Montana, and we, uh, me and Amanda had planned a, an anniversary trip. And we walk outside the airport, and none other than Jeremy is there with this car. We're in a uh, Ford Expedition. I mean, this is nice, leather seats, everything, but we're happy to see Jeremy, no doubt. Jeremy's gonna drive us to Yellowstone National Park. Alright, so when we see that, we'll get back and see, tell y'all how it went. Now here we are at the Grand Prismatic Spring, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, I think so. In Yellowstone, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's, uh, couldn't really see it because it's kind of cool out here and all that hot water hits this air and it just steams up, so that's it behind us. Uh, it was nice to look at, but the views here are just amazing. That is uh, Excelsior Crater Geyser. Yeah. All the, all the steam coming up from it. And then just pan around. And there was a big mountain back there in the background. Yeah, so yeah, we've seen this, and now we're going to head back to the car and go to. Old Faithful? Yeah, normally, um, remember the YouTube video we watched and it said that this place was packed, but we got here super early and there is not a lot of people here. Not a lot of people. So, get here early if you, if you come to Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. Yellowstone at the mud volcano, and if you'll see back right there, it actually is like bobbling up. And it smells like sulfur, you know, a whole lot like Indian Springs back in Georgia. But you ain't gonna want to drink this water, no. I promise you. <laughs> but, uh, That's pretty cool. It is cool. We're at the Sulphur Cauldron. Uh, I guess it's right here at the Yellowstone River. Right, Amanda? I think so. I think that's what I read. But it's just pretty views. I mean, we're right off the road, so you ain't got to walk very far. But those bubbly, little bubbly things you see right here, there, and right there is like sulfur coming up out of the ground through this river, and it does smell bad. But it's, I can't believe they're letting people get here because if you look, there ain't no guardrail. That's just a, a straight drop. And anybody that knows me knows I'm not real big on heights. So we're gonna make this short and we're about to get out of here. And we're at Yellowstone's Grand Canyon. Yeah, Grand so Canyon. Ge Georgia's got the little Grand Canyon. And then there's the big, big Grand Canyon. So this is the medium Grand Canyon, <laughs> but it's, I know you can't get an appreciation, but there's a river way down there. I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a, it's a lot. We'll take a few pictures and share them. All right, 
So we're leaving Yellowstone. I, I had a really good time. You? Yeah, I loved Yellowstone. I thought it was great. I liked um, seeing Old Faithful and it erupting, the Grand Prismatic. And um, although I was a little disappointed, we didn't see as many um, wildlife no, we didn't. As, as I anticipated. My favorite part was the uh, the waterfall. What they call that? Uh, oh, the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. The Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. All right, so now Jeremy's driving us to uh, Big Sky Big Sky Resort, Montana. Uh, I guess they have chairlifts and everything you can see. So when we get there, we'll share that with you. Hey, we're just going to show you our hotel, the lodge at Big Sky here in Big Sky, Montana. I'll pan back and show you. We're, we're right now at about 7,000 feet altitude. I'll pan around and show y'all the uh, this long mountain behind us. It goes up to 11,167 feet and they're about to have a race that goes up to the top of that mountain. And the guy said it takes them about 45 minutes. So imagine running from where we're at right here to the top of that peak in 45 minutes, which is pretty insane. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, I won't be doing that. <laughs> hey, so we're here at Big Sky Resort. We just rode a chairlift up to the top of one of these mountains, and Lone Mountain is still behind us back there. But if you look behind us, you can see all the ski trails, a lot of mountain biking trails. They got multiple chairlifts that carry people with their mountain bikes up and they mountain bike down. Uh, our hotel's way down there at the bottom somewhere. It's kind of hard for me to breathe a little yeah, bit up here. It's about what, 9,000? Yeah, about 9,000. But there's a, I mean, it's just a lot of mountains and a lot of hiking. I think we're going to head down on this chairlift and get on another chairlift that takes us up and it's a mile hike to the bottom so i'll be looking out for grizzly bears <laughs> if i see one i'm gonna be faster than him i promise you <laughs> all right y'all bye Hey everybody, so we're wrapping up at Big Sky and Jeremy's about to drive us to Usel Falls Trailhead hiking trail, but I had a good time at Big Sky. Amanda, you? Yeah, we had a really good time. We went up about three different chair lifts um, to the top of each one of those peaks and saw some different views of Big Sky. It was really fun. Yeah, we hiked down one hiked down, and I'm, yeah. I'm, I was actually not lying, I was scared of bears. I, I, I was trying to talk because I've heard if you talk while you're walking in the woods, they'll not come towards you, but Amanda didn't want to talk much, so I was basically talking to myself, but we had a really good time, and we'll see how this Usel Falls trail hike works. All right, so here we are at Usel Falls, Montana, and I guess the falls are way down there, but I did want to point out one thing that I noticed yesterday. So. As far as you can see up here, there are a lot of trees, but nobody's coming up here in the fall to enjoy any kind of fall colors because there ain't no leaves. You won't see any, there's no leaves up here. They're all this, I don't know, like a fir tree or what do you call them? Evergreens or like a, some sort of cypresses. So it's pretty, but these people here don't know what a East Coast mountain blasting with colors looks like in the fall so we do got that on them
that one? Crystal Falls. It was a great hike, uh, and Greg saw no bears. <laughs> time at Usul Falls Trailhead. Um, it was uh, a scenic um, trail, had uh, paved um, the whole entire way up into the, uh, the Usul Falls. Um, and then it was a loop, uh, about 1.7 miles. Yeah. So it was really nice, cool, and refreshing. So, and there were no grizzly bears. So. No, grizzly bears. <laughs> no grizzly bears. So. Yeah, now now Jeremy's driving us back to the airport so we can get back to Georgia. But overall, I had a really great time in Montana. I think I told Amanda, the people here are people that you would probably suspect have tent camped within the last week or two. A lot of just red-blooded looking American folks that outdoorsy just people. outdoorsy folks that just seem to have a really good time. But I'm missing Georgia, and uh, but I had a great time. I'm ready to see home. Yes, I had a good time too. Big Sky was great. It was a nice little, nice little getaway. We didn't escape the heat though. It was it stayed about 95 degrees um, here. So hopefully it'll be a little bit cooler when we get back home. Mm, see y'all. Bye.